I think John's approach to business couples vision, ambition, absolute hard work and persistence, humanity, and fun. I consider him one of my greatest friends, but he also challenges me <laughs> in ways that, uh, that I love, and that is, what can we do more? What can we do better? He's had incredible accomplishments before Pay It. I think when you're as compassionate as he is about other people and wanting to make a difference, and then you see and hear the stories about the difference that the product and company that he's built has made, to me that transcends any like personal accomplishment. We're solving real problems. We're simplifying access to government for people and making government more digital. And we think that's meaningful work. I think a lot of us are drawn to the mission of simplifying access to government for people. I think one of the things that inspires me the most is that John hasn't forgotten that he went to Blue Springs High School and he's a Kansas City boy. And no matter how successful he is or ever will become, he won't be anything more than that in the way he acts and treats other people. And I love it. Uh, it's one of the reasons why this friendship and partnership works so well. I think a lot about business building is attracting the right talent, building the right culture, unleashing really good people on really big problems, and trying not to get in their way, and, uh, and just support them. I have never worked in an environment where we've achieved so much and it's so clear how everyone's work ties to those achievements. The vision that he had for this and the product that has come to light as part of it has transformed communities. I had great role models. My parents were teachers, very hardworking. I was born with a really good work ethic. I've always liked to work. I enjoyed it. It doesn't feel like work to me. We have contracts that serve over 80 million residents in North America. We just signed our first international client, the City of Toronto, in a partnership. Yeah, it's pretty amazing to see what's happened. I always think the difference between somebody who's an entrepreneur and somebody who's not is they just do it, right? They get started because there's never the right time. Conditions aren't always perfect. They're never perfect, right? But they just go. They figure it out.